All right, there we go. All right, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Coffee Not in the Morning. I'm going to preface by saying <clears throat> I have like sinus things, so my throat's kind of scratchy, so I don't want to be coughing on y'all. So we'll see how this goes today. <clears throat> but um, anyway, so I'm doing my uh, impromptu Wednesday, which, you know, I try to. I try to stream on Wednesdays, but I don't have anything else really pressing going on. But I can't really schedule it like I schedule a Monday morning stream. So, you know, I, I stream every Monday. And if you're watching this recording, it's a live show on Ustream TV. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, every Monday at 9 a.m. Eastern, I stream. And then most Wednesdays also at 9 a.m. An occasional Friday. Depends on what's going on. Uh, but I just can't really schedule any other day but Monday. So, And uh, for those of y'all asking about other streamers, I've had quite a few comments on YouTube asking about other streamers. On yesterday's show, I put a link in Car uh, to Carrie's blog. It's icarry.blogspot.com. I, I mean, I carry love. I-K-E-R-R-I-L-O-V-E. I carry love dotblogspot.com and she has a list of streamers <clears throat> oh you did oh I have to I don't know do I follow I didn't I don't know if I follow you uh she she I'll have to uh because I'm sure that's not your name on Facebook so anyway Carrie put um a list of all the people that stream both on Ustream and YouTube that we kind of, you know, that we know about. Of course, not every streamer that we ever heard of is on there. But anyway, uh, she did put a list on her blog of, and to, on days and times. But let me just go ahead and say that streamers come and go. Some people stream all, every, they're scheduled like on clockwork. Some it's occasionally, some it's like when they can, when they have time and whatnot. So, uh, don't email Carrie <laughs> with complaints if you, if you find that, oh, that streamer didn't stream or, you know, what happened to this streamer? It's out of Carrie's hands. She just put those up there that we know about. You'll have to go and follow each individual person, whether it's on Ustream, YouTube, or both, to keep up with all the streamers. She's got, there's quite a long list on there. So if you want to follow or find you know, new streamers that stream long uh, streams, because a lot of us like to watch long streams. We like to watch them while we're working, the recordings, and or the live show. But anyway, <laughs> uh, don't, uh, don't fuss at Carrie. <laughs> yeah, she said she hasn't received a complaint yet. Yeah. But it was just nice of her to put that together. So, hey, LG, LG anybody else popping in? Tara from Finland. Anybody else? Thanks everybody for being here. I did spend about 30 minutes talking to people before I hit record, saying good morning to everybody so I don't have to, you know, go through the list while I'm recording and say good morning to everybody. So I like to acknowledge as many people that are here when I start, but sometimes, you know, people come rolling in during the show. So if I miss saying good morning to you, um, it's not that I'm ignoring you. <clears throat> okay, so anyway, I did pull a couple of books the other day to kind of talk about again, or I've shown them before at different times, usually like when I buy the book, I'll show or something, but the other day I was thinking, well, maybe I need to find, rather than drawing like animals on the animal stroll, let's sip a coffee here, guys. Whether the, rather than drawing animals on the big scroll, because I do need to redo my room. I've got to kind of like revamp it again because things start encroaching on my space. Things start kind of creeping in around me and I have to kind of like, you know, do this again and uh, reorganize enough that everything's kind of pushed back so I have space for like things like the animal art scroll, the big one, which... All it is, is a roll of uh, craft paper, you know, shipping paper, a roll of shipping paper, craft color shipping paper, and uh, I roll it out and we draw big animals. But I don't have room on my desk for that today. Well, anyway, the other day I said, well, you know, I wanted to draw, have something to draw if we didn't do the art journal page, which we ended up doing on Monday. And I was thinking that I had the book 
600, I think it's 640 something. I'm, I'm not sure if they're all the same number. Uh, things mm. to draw. And I said, well, I'm going to pull out that 640 something things mm. to draw. Well, apparently I either gave it away or, or missed thought that I had it, but I have 642 places to draw. So, um, anyway, these kind of books are really, if you don't know what to draw, these are always good to draw. So I said, well, while I'm talking, while I'm thinking about doing that for myself or on the stream, let me pull out some similar ones. Now there's, I have many more than these four, but these are four I have not worked in yet. <laughs> So I said, I'm going to pull these four out and just kind of show them and talk about them, whether we work in them or not. But just so you know, uh, you know, some other options for ideas to draw. It's kind of like uh, wreck this journal, except you're not wrecking these. <laughs> but um, the wreck the journal, I'm trying to think, Carrie Smith is her name, K-E-R-I Smith. She's got a ton of those books. She's probably got like maybe eight or ten different ones, not just wreck this journal, but mess this one up. And there's a whole bunch of different ones. But I've given them all to Cam because he really liked the Carrie Smith book. So I've had all of them at one time or another, but I've given them all to Cam. Um, I've got all these at either Books a Million or Barnes and Noble, one or the other. Okay. You can, you, you know, or I'm sure Amazon, of course. So I'll show y'all ISBNs and all and authors and all that. So I'm sure you can find them. If not your local bookstore, you can find them all on Amazon for sure. Um, so, yeah, I just, um, I, I don't have any Carrie Smith books to show you because I've given them all away to Cam. I think I might have a one wreck this journal stashed away because I did send one to Sherry. I thought I bought two extra ones, but I think I gave one to Sherry anyway. So, because he really liked those. But look up Carrie Smith, K E R I Smith, for all her different kinds of of uh, prompt books. That's kind of what I look at these as prompt books. Okay, so this one is 642 places to draw. There's also and I'm not sure of the number, if it's 642 things to draw, but they have one of those as well. And now they have 642 many, or places to draw many. So they're like smaller. So they have the same kind of book in a small version and 642 things to draw in a small version. I've seen them at Barnes and Noble, but I didn't buy them because I don't want to draw that small. I can't. I, I just don't want to draw that small. And even these, if I were to draw anything out of this book, I'd probably put, maybe this one I might, but some of the other ones, depending on what it is that they have you do, you can always not have to draw in the actual book. You can make your own art journal out of it, right? So it can be it can be larger pages and just take these prompts out of it and put them in your own journal. Yeah, they uh, they sell they sell this at the High Museum too, I think, uh, Carla. They sell a lot of art books at the High Museum and they rotate them quite often. Like this is one I talked about the other day. Cam and I each got us one of these at the High Museum a few years ago, outside the line, street art doodle book. And, um, yeah, it's a bunch of street artists compiled into a book. Yeah, I got this one at the High Museum. And it's just awesome for, and I left it out because I still want to color some more and get doodle some more in this one. I say doodle. I don't do things like zentangling. Uh, but anyway, this is the kind of doodles I like, like this. <clears throat> so anyway, I just thought I'd share a few of these with you and uh, work in the start book. Well, I don't know if I'm going to work in any of these right now. I just wanted to share them with you. All right, so this one is it's a Chronicle book. Chronicle does all these 642 places, 600, and I, like I said, I don't know if it's 642 or 3, or I can't remember, things to draw, but there's quite a few different versions of this, and uh, so it's, there's the spine, it's a Chronicle book, that's the Chronicle logo right there, and the ISB, and it's $16.95, and, and that's, of course, if you don't have a coupon or a discount or Amazon Prime or all that, it's just that's the price on the book. <laughs> 
um, this one right here, Carla, it's probably not there anymore. This was at least probably three or four years ago that I got this. I don't even know if it's still at the museum. But let me tell you what it is. So if you want to get this one too, this one, now it's $20. It's just an oversized paperback book, right? But it's awesome. It's really awesome. But I'll tell y'all this one too. Uh, it's $20. The ISBN, if you want to look for it on Amazon, 978 one eight five six six nine six eight two one okay so that's it and and y'all write it down because I'm not going to post links to I'm not going to link all these books in my description okay so let me say it again <laughs> nine seven eight one eight five six six nine six eight two one and it's Street Art Doodle Book compiled by Dave the Chimp. Okay, so that's that one. This one, these are all over the place. I've seen these at, everywhere. Okay, these are not hard to find. <clears throat> Let me get my uh, chat to chat froze. Okay, let me put a test in there because mine's still scrolling. Okay, all right. So the. Um, 300, I mean, 642 places to draw is Chronicle Book 9781452124933. And I don't even know why I'm reading the ISBNs. They're easy to find on Amazon. Whether you get them at Amazon or not, you can still find them. Okay, so anyway, it, but it has all kinds of, it's pretty much blank pages. Some are divided in half and some are divided in quarter. And I know it's going to flash out because of the white paper. Don't email me. Uh, <laughs> but it gives you different odd places to draw, like a thrift store, an inner city playground, multi-level parking structure, a bat cave. I mean, I'm just flipping through here. The surface of the moon, an airport boarding gate. A field of sunflowers. <coughs> so it's just all different. And uh, the Australian uh, outback, Mount Vesuvius, the back of your closet. So it's very random prompts. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Again, forgive my throat. And we'll see how long I can talk here. And uh, so they're just different things. Now, for me, if I was going to draw the back of your closet, I would not just limit it to this, right? This is divided up into four different things. I would have my own journal, you know, my own, uh, put these in my own art journal where I'd have our sketchbook, large pages, not this tiny. But if you just want something to carry around, again, though, this is the kind of stuff, a Japanese tea pavilion, um... Victoria Falls. These are not things that you're going to have in your mind unless you've actually been there and can have a great memory. These are things you're going to have to look up. So in that sense, too, it's even more than, for me, it would be more than just drawing the visual aspect of it. I would be taking notes about that place. So in other words, if I looked up the Japanese tea garden, I probably wouldn't just draw it. I'd be, you know, writing about the kinds of trees. I'd be mind mapping it. And so I would need much more space than that, <laughs> you know, to do, you know, you could actually probably do a whole book on any of these topics, you know, do a composition book, pick one of these that really interest you. For instance, the Australian Outback. These would be good for a kid's project. Like if I was raising my kids and had this book, I'd have them do projects like a whole notebook with, you know, I mean, not make them do every single topic. Don't, make, don't email me. I just mean it's a good thing to have a topic for them to do a whole book on, right? Where they could draw, write, sketch. They could carry it around and write notes. But, you know, it's a lot, of, you know, to do research with as well as drawing. But that's just me. Not everybody enjoys that kind of thing. So it's a fun book for all kinds of things like that, right? Um, and again, you could do it in your own sketchbook rather than in this book because you don't have a lot of room. If y'all have any questions, put them in caps for me so I know you're asking or talking to me because chat goes by pretty fast. So if you're just talking to each other, I catch a lot of it. 
but if you want to ask me something, put it in caps so I make sure and catch it, okay? Then I got Start Now, and it's called Start Now, the Creativity Journal. And I've shown all these before, but I've shown them as I've bought them. I haven't shown them like in a pile that I remember. <laughs> the Aussie, the uh, Aussie Outback has amazing colors. Yeah, 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 Nick Carroll. So, um, but I'm just saying that any of those topics w are worthy of more than just that much. Because when I, you know, when I do like research things, like I like to write and draw and sketch and mind map. I do all of it, you know. Okay, so this is Start Now, the Creativity Journal by Kate Neckel, N-E-C-K-E-L. And I haven't done anything in it. Again, it's a chronicle book. I've never met a chronicle book I didn't like. I love chronicle books. I follow them on Twitter. I'm always complimenting them. I love chronicle books. <laughs> Okay, so this one says, have a vision, let your ideas flow, make your mark. And the number for this one is, let me see, this one's tiny, 978-1452139296. Okay. And again, it's kind. It's got. Um, it's got. I would say less prompts and more. This one's 2015. It's got less prompts, although it does start with a lot of information at the beginning. Uh, but it's really just to get you going if you're afraid to journal. Again, <laughs> I'll say this: a lot of people, especially you know, all of us in our art groups, we don't want to mess up these books. Right, we don't want to cut. We, you know, the pristine page and all that. You got to kind of get over that if you really want to work in the book. The reason I wouldn't want to work in the book in something like this is because it's it's too small for me. But you know, it may not be small for you. You know, uh, but these kind of books are good for getting prompts, getting you going. Let's say like here's a big two page spread. What it, it says, whatever you want. But you have to, you know, just do whatever you want. They have little borders on them to, like, color and get you started. But then some pages are just blank with just borders. So this one has less prompts and more, like, you figure it out. But it's, it's meant to be kind of a combination, art journal and whatever you want. But she does put things in it every now and then, like, <clears throat> get quiet, listen to yourself, follow your heart in some little blank spaces. And I like that. Some little frames. There's different little things like that. But there's a lot, also a lot of blank spaces for you to put whatever you want. Right? But it is very inspirational and very, look, give it a go. There's no right way to use anything. Just test stuff out. And if it feels good, keep doing it. With You know, she's got the pens, the markers, the paints, all the different supplies. So, you know, it's it, a whole page of try, 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 try. <laughs> so anyway so it's got a lot of blank pages for you to fill in and then like every maybe fifth page or so she's got some things be cool be nice be interested ask questions be grateful be willing to work really hard listen really listen live and then love some more so and then you know again whatever you want so it's kind of a cool book hey Judy it's a cool book for prompts and ideas, whether you actually work in this book or in a separate journal, which I'm more likely to do. Here's another thing about, you know, when you get these books, I never feel bad about buying these kind of books and not using them because they are inspirational. A lot of them are eye candy. For instance, the Sabrina Ward Harrison ones or the Orly Alvanini, Alvaneri, Alvaneri. Um, they're eye candy and they're inspirational. And if you write your ideas down, like I always tell you to do, and keep an idea inspiration notebook, whether it's a large one, a small one, a tiny one, but if you keep those ideas that you glean from these books, then you've, you've accomplished something in using those books. You know what I mean, Vern? So whether you actually write in the books or you write out things that you've gathered out of it. Hello, Ankari. 
So whether you whether you uh, use the actual book or just glean from it and write it down, but in some form use them, right? Okay. Then the other two I have here, these have been around, well, I don't know exactly how long. This one, Michael Nobbs, N-O-B-B-S, he had, I followed his blog a long time ago, and then I, then he came out with a book, and uh, I got a whole bunch of these on clearance, and then now they're not on clearance anymore. I mean, they're restocked in books a million, but I got some for $3, and I gave a, a lot of them away, but... Um, now they're back to being regular price. They restock. I don't know why they had a few on clearance. I don't know, but I found them in there. And because uh, they're normally $12, $16. It's normally $16. <clears throat> Drawing your life. Learn to see, record, and appreciate life's small joys. And I think I follow them on Twitter, but I don't see him tweet a lot. But I just might be missing his tweets, too. You know, he's not tweeting to me. You know, he's just generally tweeting. So, but anyway, uh, draw in your life. And it's, uh, let me tell you, the ISBN, maybe, if I can get the sticker off. Probably not. Let's see if I can peel it slowly, carefully. But I do like to keep, if I do get it on clearance like this, I try to keep the sticker so I remember. <laughs> I don't know, it's like that, right? All right? Let me get some of the glue off. Maybe a new printing was coming in. Could be, Jean. Could be. So if you can't find it under this ISBN number, just cut, cut, <laughs> be looking for drawing your life. Okay. 9780 and again, I don't know why I'm reading you the ISBNs. They're easy enough to find on Amazon. <clears throat> so he has, it's again, lots of little use what you got, draw where you are. Look, make a start and draw for just two minutes. Draw the first thing that catches your eye. Those They're just kind of prompts, and but they're also fun. Don't worry about what your drawing looks like. Just put pen to paper. And then he has a, a little write-up about himself. I'm Michael Nobbs. I think it's Nobbs is how you pronounce it. A full-time artist, blogger, and tea drinker. Not necessarily in that order. I live in Britain. Chance, uh, hence all the tea I drink. And I've been drawing my life for quite a few years now. Back at the end of the 1990s, he, had, he was diagnosed. Oh, I won't read his whole life story, but, you know, he, he started using art to help him. It's never too late to start to draw. And remember, even though you might not think so, everybody can draw. And then he has some little mini instructions. Follow the instructions or make up your own. Draw anywhere. And he has a little asterisk. And then on, upside down on the bottom, he has, this book has no right way up. Flip it around, work at it, whatever angle feels comfortable. In other words, if you want to sit in your lap and draw this way, however, you know. So draw anywhere. Rip out pages, stick in new pages, make lots of mistakes, and have fun. So these kind of books are very inspirational to me. I love them, whether I actually use them in here, whether I actually use them in the actual book, or use the prompts in another journal. <clears throat> oh, good. Queen Pam found it. So it is on Amazon. Okay, so see, I, I mean, I know you can find pretty much anything on Amazon, right? Carry this book or a small sketchbook everywhere. Keep a favorite pen in your pocket or bag. Get them both out regularly and draw. And, you know, these are just, I mean, these are just begging for you to outline and color and, you know. <laughs> so create a portable studio. And then he has his, how, things that he puts in his bag a portable studio checklist and you know it's just these kind of these are just fun fun books with lots of space to you do do whatever in visit a bookshop or library make a reading list and see he's got some photographs black and white photographs and he's got a reading list here turn the other way and he has some of his books and he does recommend Carrie Smith in there because this is the kind of things that you know Carrie Smith does too you know, draw the everyday and ordinary. And uh, so it's all kinds of things like that. Uh, Dan, uh, Gregory, Danny Gregory, he does these kind of things where he wants you to draw your 
your everyday things. It's, it's the same types of books, but they're all unique and different. So, you know, when you look at them in the bookstore, look at them and see if it's some a particular one that you would like, right? Set a timer, draw for 20 minutes. So again, draw, I guess he's drawn here with that, you know, a blind contour drawing, hold a portrait party, just all kinds of things. Draw your favorite book. So it's very, it's eye candy and inspirational. And like I said, whether you actually draw in his book or if you make your own with your own. Drawing your life. Okay. That's okay, Mel. <laughs> and the last one that I pulled, I just pulled these four. Again, Carrie Smith is the, the other one that has tons of these type of books, but I've given them all to Cam, so I can't, obviously can't show them to you. But she's got like eight or ten different ones. Okay. And they're always, you can see, find those all the time, especially a Rectus journal. You can find that one all the time on clearance. And then they restock it with a new cover and stuff like that, <laughs> you know, republish it like Jean said. And, um, and so then they put them out as a new, new version of the book. I got to remember to stop and drink some coffee, guys. One page at a time. A Daily Creative Companion. And this is Adam J. Kurtz, some guy. <laughs> and the ISBN, and this one's $15 US. It's a penguin publisher. 9780399167355. Yeah. Things are what you make of them. Every day is a chance to create something new for yourself. Put down your phone and pick up a pencil. Give yourself some space. The internet will still be there. Start with one page at a time and you'll be surprised at just how much you can create. Each of the 365 prompts in this book will encourage you to draw, write, list, reflect, and share. This book is your new best friend. Let's get started. <laughs> Um, yeah, yes, yes, Jean, thanks. Okay, so again, it's just some guy, that's what he says. This one came out in 2014, and uh, it's the same kind of thing, but just different. They're all kind of the same idea prompts, writing, sketching, drawing, you know, but they're all different because everyone, you know, they're just all different. You know, each guy or gal has their own uh, way of, of uh, putting out their prompts. This could be anything, a journal, a keepsake, a calendar, a friend, all of the above. And, you know, you look through and you, you, you can tell, you just get a vibe from the different ones. Of course, I guess, obviously, I got a vibe from all of them because <laughs> I bought all of them. <laughs> yeah, I got the Doodle a Day one, too. Um, I just pulled these four. I just pulled these four out of a shelf full of these kind of books. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got tons of these kind of books. So... People I can always call, best friend, parent, cool sibling, less cool sibling, favorite aunt, owes me a favor, has a car, always ready to party, knows everything, knows just enough, a grandparent, and one more. See how it's different than the other ones? <laughs> oh, wait, let me get my scroll locked in again. <laughs> oh. I start the same thing with tangling doodling patterns and then it can really draw pretty good. So anyway, it's just a uh, funny little, you know, some are funny, some are like, what time is it? You know, you do your little clock. Select the feelings that resonate most. Wow, I'm so happy to be alive. I just need to keep at it. Anything is possible. Love is stupid, but can I, can I please? <laughs> Uh, so anyway, just all kinds of fun things. 
be the change you want to, whatever. People can change themselves, even me. So, you know, just different things like that. Learn to draw step one. Draw two squares below. Learn to draw. So you draw two squares. <laughs> Congratulations, you did it. <laughs> ah, tape a business card to this page. Who is it? Where is it from? See, one of the things that I liked about, particularly about his book, hey Suzanne, is that he asks those questions. Because I'm a question and asker. That's how I roll. <laughs> I ask a lot of questions of other people and myself. So I, I'm always writing down questions and more than just, and lists. I love lists. Lists and questions. I could like live on lists and questions. <laughs> so, <clears throat> hey Trina, did I miss saying hi to you? So I'm just going to skip through and I'm not going to, of course, obviously read every page. And uh, what are you searching for? Search. I'm feeling lucky. <laughs> What's your name? Why were you named this? Who decided? What does it mean? And what about nicknames? See, yeah, I have these questions that you can, they're question prompts, right? Think of something you're insecure about. Then write it huge. Fill the entire space. Stare at it. Now turn the page. Uh, you know, just all kinds of things like that. And again, he's got like prompts on every page. <clears throat> Fill out all your sick day checklist. And uh, care package. Fill this box with lots of good stuff. So you can draw it. You can write it. You can do both. Are we there yet? No, 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 no. Yes. <laughs> Oh, so anyway, connect the dots in any order. It's just paper. Carefully cut this page into a single long ribbon. Or don't. <laughs> List five friends you think you, you'll have forever. Write a secret in the dark. But he's got all kinds of little fun little charts to play with. Quarterly check-in. Let's face it, good, fair, poor. General outlook. You fill in your little faces. Fill in the faces that, that apply to you at that time. You know, or you can do this, you can do this once a week, you know. Make you a little checklist. How you doing? How you doing? Tape a $5 bill to this page and forget about it. <laughs> Write a letter to yourself six months from now. Again, I'm flipping ten pages at a time here, guys. Things might not be okay today or tomorrow, but we'll make it. One page at a time, so hang in there. Click to continue. Could you do a coloring book page from Lost Ocean? Um, I have done those. I'll show them to you, Little Book Owl. I've done pages in both of those. I'll show them to you. <clears throat> the Ocean one, and what was the other one? Time Chamber. Yeah, I'll show you the ones I've done. Okay? Because I know you're new. Um... Ten things I am really good at. Making lists. <laughs> See? And you do that. You know. Snap out of it. Write something in all caps and then press reply all. And he's got tiny little notes here too. I'm not going to read all this to you. I just want, there's the quarterly check-in again. And uh, give this page to a friend. Why are we friends? What makes us so awesome together? Be cheesy. It's okay. <laughs> be cheesy it's okay take a photo you love oh tape a photo you love to this page you can trim it if it's too big <laughs> there's a hand give me a high five pat yourself on the back wave to a friend or draw your hand in mine so anyway all these books are awesome in their own right and uh very thought 
thought-provoking. Now, there's other ones, and I think I've given some of them to Cam. <laughs> some books kind of like this, except for writing, more writing than drawing. And, uh, well, let me go ahead. I think I'm just going to have to make this, this, uh, yeah, I'll just say, oh, let's just make this a 10-minute video. <laughs> Let me show you a couple others. Um, okay. I've given, um, there was another one. I can't remember the name I gave to Cam. I'll have to, uh, I need to rebuy it. But it, it has all kinds of writing and drawing prompts too. And they're more, uh, they're more done for, um, writing but you can combine you know if you're an artist and writer you can combine both but I'll show you these two two <laughs> oh my goodness you girls crack me up in a jerk okay in a okay wait a minute I missed something here I missed something I missed something little O Could you do a color book page from Lost Ocean in a journal? A crock or two? Okay, I missed something. A journal page? I, I missed something. I'm sorry. But I will show you those two books. Lost Ocean. I'll show you those as soon as I finish talking about these. I see from Dee Dee, I'm getting a coffee before. <laughs> yeah. So again, a lot of these kind of books, I may not write in the book, but I'll have composition books, sketchbooks, art journals, my Mola Skinas where I do my writing. I've got shelves of Molies where I write in them and I might do a sketch or something, but they're not like art journals. Yeah, I, I missed something, little O. <clears throat> okay, so life is a verb, and I haven't looked at these for a while. 37 days to wake up, be mindful, and live intentionally. Okay, there's the cover there. And this came out in, I've had this one a while, 2008 right and again let me just read some of the chapter titles introduction part one inhabit your story write to remember start with i that's part one part two the six practices for intentional living um chapter three intensity four is inclusion five is integrity and there's more then there's subtitles under each one subtitles under each chapter here intimacy intuition intention and uh, I'm not going to read the whole her whole process to you but I just want to show you that they have different prompts and like action movement and so it's more I mean there's there's to write and draw okay it's not just and this is more in depth this is more like a whole process. It's not like just pick it up and color a day. This is more a whole process thing. Let me see what it says on the back here to read to you. You have this book, Val? Hey, Oak Lady. How you doing? Since Elk Lady is here, I was going to wait till Monday to show this because not everybody's here on Monday, I mean on, on Impromptu, but I just saw Elk Lady pop in. She sent me a card. This is from Elk Lady, a nice note inside. And she sent me one of her cards. Look. It's kind of like, it's an art card, but it's just a different size. It says, thank you. Thanks for all that you do. So inspiring, Elk Lady. And you, it's got like dimensional stuff right there. And it's like varnished or coated with something. I love this tag. If you want to call it a tag or art card, whichever. And, uh, yeah, so thank you so much, Elk Lady. I appreciate it. Like I said, I was going to show it on Monday because that's when most people are here. But since she popped in, 
Every possibility begins with the courage to imagine. Thank you so much. Yeah, I know. No lady in her name. No lady in her name? No lady. Okay. Oh, L. Katie. Okay. <laughs> That's right. I forgot. I'm sorry. That's what I named her. <laughs> I named her L. Katie. <laughs> That's what I named her when I, you know, when I first see you, I name you something and it kind of sticks, but it's, yeah. Ah, thanks guys. <laughs> there it is. And I just called her Elk Lady. Okay, so yeah. Okay, let me read the back of this. What would you be doing if you only had 37 days to live? And then she tells you what uh, one of her little stories and what she did. And um, 37 days to wake up, be mindful, and live intentionally. So it makes you think about your life, okay? <laughs> you all call her Elk Lady? Yeah. And then the other one is the Almanac. Almanac. A daily dose of wonder. Jill Badansky. And the number for this is... Nine seven eight zero seven six two four three one two five zero, and it's twenty dollars in U.S. and it was published in. I want to look at that front cover. Look, it's got her own little little whimsy art in it. I thought you were just reading it wrong. Well. I would. I did have to really look at it again because I do call her Elk Lady. I didn't know she put that there because I call her that. Yeah, thanks, Jean. This came out in 2008 as well. And I wish I could remember the one that I gave Cam because it was really my favorite one. But I kind of really read it and got a lot out of it and wanted him to get a lot out of it. And uh, so I gave it to him, but I would like to get me myself another copy of it. So I'll, and it's still out. I see it at the bookstore. So table of contents. The journey through monthly and daily pages. They're in order. Flip through. Okay. So I don't remember how this her pages worked. She had them dated, I think. Yeah, they're dated. So there's no year. So, you, of course, you can use whatever year. It doesn't matter. It's, they're not, it's not like a calendar where, you know, it's January 23rd is on a Wednesday or whatever. It's, it's just January 23rd. So, in other words, it would work for any year. <clears throat> Let me have another sip of coffee, guys. So, she has all different kinds of little tips. She'll have a soul, a daily soul vitamin. Um, uh, 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 instead of aphrodisiac, it's aphrodisiacs. And she just means it in the sense of like, uh, well, let me read one here. Let's see. Well, that's not going to make sense if you don't know what she's doing. Because she has a purpose for each of these topics. And I'm not going to read the book to you. But she has a purpose for each of these topics. So if I just read the topic, it's not going to make sense. So anyway. But she has daily soul vitamins. And just different. Dose of mirth. Journaling juju. Su subliminal message. You know, and all just. She has just little things like that for you to do every day. But again. The. I like these kind of books for their inspiration and their tips and their ideas. I will not do a daily something like this. It, it's too confining for me and too stressful. I do not do anything dated any longer. I don't do any, you know, you got to do this, this, and this every day. I, I can't. But that doesn't mean I can't get a lot of good ideas out of it and do some of these things with just ignoring the date. Ignoring the dates. <laughs> night, night, McCarroll. Yeah, you're 14 hours ahead of us. Thanks for being here. 
thanks for being here from Oz. So anyway, these, these kind of books are all very inspirational and um, idea generating. And, but you got to glean from them and take, write down things out of them that if you w want to get any use out of them. And then some books are just, to me, eye candy. You know, Sabrina Ward Harrison, you know, her books are, are just eye candy. I'd never write in them. Let me just pull one, and then I'll show you those two color books. Newest one. I think this is it, yeah. Now, this is the newest one I have. I'm not sure if this is her very newest book, right? Sabrina Ward Harrison, this is the last one that I bought. The Spirit is, I mean, the story is happening. And it comes with all kinds of like collage bits in it. Again, this is one of those books I won't, I won't use to write in. It's eye candy for me. But, you know, Sabrina Ward Harris, if you've ever had any of her books, are just awesome inspiration. They'll get you going. They'll get you creating, get the paint flowing if, if you need that kind of inspiration. But as far as using these books to write in, this one still smells good. Ah. So, yeah, anything by Sabrina Ward Harrison, to me, is, like, really awesome. And she's been around since like 19 gosh 99 doing this style she's been around forever and to me she was like the the first one that I saw do really messy journaling you know messy writing messy journaling that kind of thing she was the first one that I I saw do it in in a as a style okay as a style uh, not just the occasional something but she has made it into a whole style Hey, Iffy. Okay, so if there's any questions on any of those, I will uh, I, I will start another video for us to do some project in. But somebody asked me about seeing what I've done in these two, the Time Chamber and Lost Ocean. Okay, so I've done a couple things. I've done this one in Lost Ocean, and I'll explain again how I did it. The back, this is all black acrylic paint. This is all a teal acrylic paint. Then I did some little, pulled some little white drip. I didn't drip this. I just actually painted the drips, painted the, you know, like water areas pulled down, splattered it with stars. And then all the tiny bits here are done with markers, gel pens, whatever. Just little tiny, tiny bits. So you can kind of see. And they are posted on my Facebook color album, color book album. I have a Facebook color book album where I post all my, uh, hey Terry, other Terry, one of the other Terry's. <laughs> it's not trouble Terry, the other Terry. <laughs> so then this is just all colored and all these little, this, you know, this takes a while to color all this in. This is no time at all. And that's why I like doing these big painted areas because it does fill up a lot of your pages. And, you know. <clears throat> oh, you want me to color one of these and tear it out and put it, put it in a journal? No, I probably won't tear these out and put them in a journal. For, for multiple reasons. You know, this is practically a journal page in and of itself. You know, this is a, like a journal page in and of itself. Unlike, you know, little bits of things I can cut out or a big flower I could cut out or a person, you know, an individual person like I did that page on Monday. That's some one individual element, you know, some element I can, can cut out. There's really no element to cut out of this. It's kind of complete in itself. So it doesn't really need to be in a journal page. It's kind of like it is its own journal page. And then the other one is the time chamber. And I have a couple. I got this one is done here. And I got another one 
um, almost done. So again, you know, what could you cut out of this? You know, I mean, I could cut her out, but, you know, it's kind of its complete page. It's not individual things. Yeah, they're, they're, uh, they're not kind of things to cut out and use. It's not that, it's not conducive to that to me, right? Now, if you want to do that, that's fine. But these are completed pages in and of themselves. Right? Well, it's not that I don't mind cutting up. I tore a page out of this and sent it to uh, sent it to Renee, who sent me the book. I cut the mermaid page out, tore it out, and sent it to her. So it's not so much that I care about not taking something out of the book, but it's it's like not purposeful. You know, it doesn't serve a purpose just to cut this out and put it on a page. When I have books and books of just solid flowers that I can cut out, you know, this is... This in and of itself is a journal page. Know what I mean, Vern? And then here's the other one that I'm almost done with. And I have colored... Okay, and here's the thing about coloring with you guys. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I don't mind ever starting a page and coloring with you. I can promise you... I can promise you I cannot finish a page in one sitting. And then here's the problem with starting, which I don't mind doing, and it's my show. I can do what I want, right? I'm the boss of my color book. <laughs> but here's the problem with starting a page, and then I move on to another color book because someone wants to see me color in, 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 the, you know, in the fashion one, or someone wants to see me color in this one. And I'll start a page. I may work on it for three solid hours and not be done. Then... A month later, someone says, well, where's that finished page? I didn't finish it because we've moved on to something else, you see. So I don't mind ever starting and showing you my processes. But if, you, if you're expecting me to do a four-part show every color book page, I just won't do it. I mean, I've done a few. I did our do girl with a dog um, in the look. In the look, this one here. This one we did three, at least three parts, okay? We did a three-part show, finishing this page. And it's a little flashed out, guys, sorry. Um, I'm trying to get the color. Um, but we did a show, we did three shows on this one. Two or three. Some of them I've done three shows on. And I can't promise you that. Here's one that I've started here. I can't promise you that. And so... You know, people say, well, I want to see that page. Are you going to work on it again? Maybe not. See? <clears throat> Just watercolor markers or color pages. Yeah, I already answered that, Judy or Jody. Okay, maybe you weren't here. It won't give this, watercolor won't give the exact same tooth, but it depends on what area you're working on. It'll give it some to work on. It's always going to depend on your color book. That's why I say every color book have a page in the back where you can test the different materials because some watercolor is going to sop right through and wrinkle your pages like Anamorphia, Animalia, Animalia. I get the names mixed up on that one. And it'll wrinkle your pages at the start until you really kind of finish coloring them, which doesn't bother me. But it does bother a lot of people if their pages wrinkle. So if you, like if I painted this whole background black watercolor, for one, it's not going to be that dark. It won't be that flat dark. And it'll probably wrinkle. <laughs> hey, Anonymous. <clears throat> You're welcome. You're welcome, Ann Car. I'm glad it, it helped you. <laughs> Well, hey, Deborah. Let me write your name down as both because, you know, different people have different names on different uh, social media. So, I try to, you know, learn your names. 
Well, anyway, so what I'm just, I'm just clarifying that I'm not saying you are expecting me to color a full page, but peep, there are, I do get uh, comments. When are you going to finish that page? Uh, what, where can I find part two? Where's part three? And there is none. <laughs> You know, um, so that's the only thing that I like to clarify about doing color book pages. I love to inspire you. I'll show you every process that I do. I talk about I, no secrets. I'll tell you everything I do. But will I finish a page in three hours? No. Will I go back and do part two, three, four? Probably not. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to say, and I don't mean you here in chat. I'm just saying in general. Okay. Um, so yeah so that one's done this one I just have the paint background this one I'm almost done I just got to finish the scooter so I just like to you know point that out so if you're watching the recording I might show you something I've done and like here's one that I've just copied and cut out we just did a little practice thing on there and she's one that I'll finish coloring and cut out and put in an art journal um, yeah, I can't stream 24-7, that's for sure. So I got her, this is just a little bookmark. We drew an eye one day, and then I got a piece of wax paper. So, but these are just some of the things. That's I think that's all I've done in this book are those. And then again, in the Lost Ocean, I did the mermaid page and tore it out. And then I think I started another one, or maybe I'm just thinking of the mermaid page, because I tore it out and sent it to Renee. But anyway, so let me go ahead and stop this recording. I just wanted to talk a little bit about those books first. And then, um, so we'll do a project on another segment. That way I don't have to feel like, you know. And, and people have said that it, they enjoy me breaking up the videos if I do certain things. And, I, and again, that's another thing. I can do that sometimes. Like now, I finish this book segment so I can stop and record that. But I can't guarantee you that, I, you know, if I'm doing a color book page and all of a sudden this book comes to me and I pull this book out and take a rabbit trail and start talking to that, they're going to be all jumbled together. We go on a lot of rabbit trails here. Just saying. Don't email me. Okay, guys. So hang on. Let me just, let me save this and we'll start a project on the next video.